Hello, you are listening to Pankaj Rai and in this video we are going to discuss the 7th and 11th Hotz problem of algebra. So let us begin. The problem says that if the sum of roots of quadratic equation, sum of roots that means alpha plus beta is equal to the sum of the squares of the reciprocal sum of squares this is equal to the sum but sum of what sum of squares squares of what their reciprocal their reciprocals are 1 by alpha and 1 by beta so it is sum of squares of the reciprocals so squares of their reciprocals so the condition is if the sum of roots of quadratic equation that is alpha plus beta is equal to the sum of the squares of the reciprocals that is 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square then we have to prove that 2a square c equal to c square b plus b square a and taking this question further we have to prove that bc square ca square and ab square are in ap so let us begin we have been given that alpha plus beta is equal to 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square let me cross multiply these two terms so it will be alpha plus beta is equal to beta square plus alpha square divided by alpha square into beta square let me take this term completely over the left hand side so this will be alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha square into beta square let me write it as alpha beta the whole square is equal to beta square plus alpha square which i can write as alpha square plus beta square now as you can see this term alpha plus beta is actually the sum of roots and we know that sum of roots is given by minus b by a and alpha beta is product of roots so it is given by c by a but what about this alpha square plus beta square let us see about that remember that whenever you are having this term alpha square plus beta square in quadratic equation you just need to do this which is you have to remember that a plus b the whole square is given by a square plus 2ab plus b square but we want a square plus b square so let us take this 2ab to the left hand side so we will have a plus b the whole square minus 2ab could be written as a square plus b square so you just need to remember this formula that a square plus b square let me write it in reverse order that a square plus b square can be written as a plus b the whole square minus 2ab so let me write alpha in place of a and beta in place of b so this formula will become alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta we can continue with uh, whatever we have got over here we have got alpha plus beta alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha beta the whole square is equal to we were having alpha square plus beta square but now in place of alpha square plus beta square we can write this which is alpha plus beta the whole square alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 times alpha beta so this is the equation which we are getting by solving whatever we have been given now you are aware that uh, the alpha plus beta is actually the sum of roots and we know that alpha plus beta the sum of roots is given by minus x coefficient upon x square coefficient so that is minus b by a and alpha beta which is the product of roots is given by the constant term which is c upon coefficient of x square which is a so alpha beta is given by c by a so let us now substitute these value in this equation so we will get alpha plus beta which is minus b by a multiplied by alpha beta whole square which is c by a the whole square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square which is minus b by a the whole square minus 2 times alpha beta which is c by a let us solve this minus b by a so this is minus b upon a into c square upon a square this can be written as minus b the whole square is actually b square upon a square minus 2 c by a 
now as you can see this is minus b c square upon a cube is equal to b square upon a square minus 2 c by a as you can see the highest power of a in the denominator is 3 so let me multiply both the sides by a cube so when we multiply both the sides by a cube here this a cube will get cancelled and we will have b c square is equal to here when we will multiply by a cube a square will get cancelled and we will be left with a only so this will be b square a minus here when we will multiply by a cube one of the a will get cancelled and we will be left with a square so this will be 2 a square c now let us take this negative term to this side and this negative term to this side so what we will be having is we will be having this term over the left so it will be 2 a square c is equal to this term which is b square a this negative term will come over this side that would be plus b c square let me write it as plus c square b so as you can see we are getting this condition which is 2 a square c is equal to c square b we are having the c square b over here plus b square a we are having b square a over here so in this way we have easily proved the seventh question which says that we have to prove that 2 a square c is equal to c square b plus b square a now let us take this equation further to prove this question okay so let's see how we can do that as you can see there are two a square c over here so let me write as a square c plus a square c is equal to c square b plus b square a okay now let's do one thing let's take uh, this term to the left hand side and this term to the right hand side so it will become a square c minus c square b is equal to b square a minus a square c uh, what we can do is we can write this as c a square minus b c square is equal to a b square minus c a square okay now as you can see the c a square over here is the second term so let me write as t2 minus this b c square over here is actually the first term so let me write as t1 is equal to a b square which is the third term so let me write as t3 minus c a square is the second term so let me write as t2 so you can see that the second term minus first term is same as the third term minus second term that means the common difference t2 minus t1 is d and t3 minus t2 is also d so the common difference over all the terms is constant so we can say that these three terms which is b c square c a square and a b square they are in a p so that's how we have proved that 11 sum as well thank you very much